strategy in Afghanistan is time limited and that he'll begin redeploying troops in July uh, 2011. All we are asking here in this amendment is that the president provide further details on how long this redeployment is expected to take. Our brave service members and the American taxpayers deserve to know what is being asked of them as they risk their lives and spend their money to continue uh, this war. Madam President, my amendment is not about whether we support the president or the troops. All of us support the troops, and I hope we all wish the president a success in Afghanistan, nor is it about whether we agree with the president's strategy. I, for one, happen to have serious doubts about the administration's approach. But in light of our deficit and domestic needs, and in light of rising casualty rates in Afghanistan, and in light of the growing al-Qaeda threat around the world, an expensive, troop-intensive, nation-building campaign just doesn't add up for me. We should be focusing on Pakistan, Yemen, Somalia, and other terrorist safe havens. And frankly, I'm disappointed that we are about to pass a bill providing tens of billions of dollars to keep this war going with so little public debate about whether this approach even makes any sense. If we adopt the Feingold Amendment, Madam President, we'll be sending a very different message to the government and the people of Afghanistan. It would reinforce the fear if we adopt this amendment. It's already a deep-seated fear in Afghanistan that the United States will abandon the region. That is a message that we can ill afford to send regarding the future stability of Afghanistan, and it is a particularly unwise message to send while our forces are still deploying to Afghanistan. The Senator suggests that somehow this sends the wrong message in the region. Well, actually, the wrong message is that we intend to be there forever. 